hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial so this will be a continuation of elastic search tutorial uh, for beginners so in the previous tutorials we had seen uh, a lot of topics on elastic search how to set up elastic search uh, indexes uh, on the basics of elastic search we also seen how to set up elastic search and kibana on uh, normal send os right so in this tutorial what we will do is we will do the similar kind of setup of Elasticsearch and Kibana but using Docker. So we'll be using Docker containers so we'll be creating a container for Elasticsearch and then we also will have a, a container for Kibana. So and we'll have the connection between Elasticsearch and Kibana so when we have uh, data or you know indexes in the Elasticsearch that can be used in the Kibana for querying and uh, making use of for your visualizations so that will be the overall part of this uh, agenda so this will be very quick and a very interesting tutorial so just uh, hold on so before I get into the actual demo on the process I would request you to click on the subscribe button if you have not done yet or you are new to my channel and also I would request you to like the videos share and comment okay so let's get started straight into the process of how to set up uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana on docker so what I will cr do is like first I will create a network so it's better you know we create a separate network and we keep both uh, Elasticsearch container and uh, Kibana on the same network so I will use uh, docker uh, network create command so it will be in the docker network create and I will call the network as elastic okay so you can give any name so I'm just giving elastic because we are doing the demo for elastic search so you can see the network is created so you can go to network docker network ls and you should be able to see the network listed here okay so that's done from our end now we need to create the containers for elastic search and also for uh, Kibana so I'm not using a docker compose file in this tutorial I will do that maybe a separate one after this so you will have all kind of scenarios like if you want to create a simple containers you can use docker run command what we are using or if you want to use docker compose you can watch those tutorials which I'll be doing it later okay so let's create a docker container for Elasticsearch so I will use docker run and if you want to run it on detached mode I will uh, you can use hyphen D but I just want to show you uh, how it is running so I'm not using the detached mode and I'm going to use uh, the name as Elasticsearch and I also want to connect this uh, containers into the network Elastic right so I'm going to use Elastic then and I'm also want to map some port so based on the Elasticsearch port you can use that you if you I hope you should be knowing what the Elasticsearch uses the port so I'll be mapping 9200 and I'll be also mapping 9300 here so we are done uh, with the port mapping so these are two main uh, ports which is used by Elasticsearch now we need to have an environmental variable where we have to define the what kind of cluster is this are we sending a single node Elasticsearch container or it's a clustered kind so since I you know depending upon the system requirement because it is it does need you know some basic requirement to run a cluster because each machine need a minimum number of resource so I'm going to go with the single node uh, cluster so I'm going to use the environment variable like a uh, discovery type as a single node and you know you can give the link for uh, the container or image okay so not, not the container the image to create the container so it should be under docker.elastic.co and Elasticsearch and Elasticsearch version number so I'm going to go with 7.13.4 so when you see this maybe you have a different version of Elasticsearch you can use that as well so once you do this you can run this command so let's see what it does so if you don't have the image for Elasticsearch it will download the image my understanding is uh, my machine already have the image uh, so I don't think it has to download the image it will go and create the container directly so you can see it's starting to show me some uh, locks right so it's uh, started the process of creating either elastic search okay so since I now have not given this hyphen D it has uh, started the whole process on the screen itself okay so let it be running so if I exit from this the container will uh, go off so I will leave it running so it can create the you know, docker 
a container for Elasticsearch. You can see the process is going. So meanwhile, parallel, I have uh, another session for uh, you know, uh, from the same Docker machine. So I will create a container now for uh, Kibana. Okay. So uh, I will again go for Docker run, and here I will use detach mode. So uh, there, I just want to show you like how it is. You know, I will use a detach mode here, and I will give the name for this as uh, Kibana. And I will again use the network as uh, elastic. And for the Kibana, we need to map the port uh, 5601, which is the Kibana port. Okay, so I hope you know this. Uh, this one is from the local machine, and this is from the container. So, this one, if you want, you can change it as well if you want to have a different port map to your host machine. Okay, so now another important parameter in this here is we need to map the host. In the Kibana, it should know to which which is the host for your Elasticsearch. So here you need to map it based on the previous container. So we created a container for Elasticsearch and we given the name as Elastic, right? So that name, based on that name, you need to map it here as well. If you are not sure what is the name you given for the previous container, you can check it, the running container, so you can see we have given Elasticsearch as the name for the container for Elasticsearch, right? So we need to do like, you know, we need to map that uh, over here for Kibana. So I will be using, okay, I think there is something wrong which I given. So let me just delete this. So you need to give the environmental variable as like this, okay? So you can see the environment variable and what we are mentioning is Elasticsearch host and the host should be HTTP. If you are using HTTPS, then you have to change based on that. So, uh, and the host name for the container. So I have given Elasticsearch and the port number is 9200. So if you are using a different name for the Elasticsearch container, you need to update it here. And the image for Kibana is Elastic.co, uh, Kibana, Kibana version is 77.13.4. So as I mentioned again, if you have a different version at that time when you're doing, so you can use that version number as well. So let's just run this uh, command. So you can see now Docker PS, you can see there are two containers running, right? So one for uh, Elasticsearch and one for Kibana now. So let's just wait for some time for Kibana to run, okay? And uh, what we need to have is we need to access Kibana using this port number. So for that, you can use the IP address of your Docker machine and the port number. So if you are not able to access the port, you need to open the port in the firewall. So you can use the firewall commands and you can reload the command, reload the firewall, okay? So if you try to access uh, the uh, IP address and 5601, now we can see the Kibana is not ready yet. So we may have to wait for some time. So let's just wait for that to be completed, then uh, uh, we will access Kibana. So you can see it started loading Kibana, so let's wait for that to be completed. Okay, great, so we have the Kibana page also up. So you can see we are done with the setup of Kibana. Now what we can do is uh, we can go and check uh, what are the indexes available. So you can go to uh, stack management, okay, and you'll have index management. So now we can see we don't have any index at all, right? So because in the um, uh, Elasticsearch, we don't have any index uh, created. So let me go back here, okay? So let me clear out the screen. So let me show you how we can check the index. These are all things I have covered in the previous tutorial. You can have a reference there because I'm just using those commands again here. So if I run the command localhost uh, xget, so this will uh, uh, give you all the indexes available. So now you can see these are some indices, okay? So these are some Kibana indexes. So, but we don't have, uh, you know, the actual index uh, which we want to create. So let's create some index, okay? So I want to download a JSON file. So I'll just download this JSON file. As I mentioned this, so we have used it uh, in our previous tutorials on showing up how to create indexes, how to write queries, you know? Uh, what are the different kind of indexes, uh, what is content type, so how we can do bulk import. So all those things are covered in the previous tutorial. So I'm not going to talk about that here. So I'm just going to show you how to uh, upload one index, okay? So let me bulk import the JSON file into Elasticsearch. So let's do that. So let's just wait for that to be completed. So you can see the indexes are getting created, right? So at the same time, if you come back to the 
elastic uh, stack or a kibana you can see this Shakespeare is uh, showing up in the index so it's still in the process let's wait for that to be completed then we can see uh, try to run some query and we'll be able to get some output in the kibana okay great so the index uh, is completed the import now you can see the index have you know some doc type ID version uh, shards right and have a lot of things here right so let's go to this uh, Kibana okay so you can click on the Shakespeare you can get some detail over here right like uh, some information about uh, the settings you can see the mappings like uh, what contents we have we have text keywords right and uh, stats so different things are there I don't want to make any changes there now let's go to again your uh, top page and you have uh, dev tools okay go to dev tools where you can run some queries so you can see there is a query like uh, some sample query where I'm going to search with the uh, text entry so you can just run that now you can see I got some output from the index right so you can see the speaker is King Henry 4 and this, this is the text entry and this is part of a play name uh, which is as part of the index Shakespeare, right? So that's how you can run some queries uh, using Kibana. So this is a, just a sample I just want to show you like how the index can be added and you can do uh, some queries, okay? So that is all for this tutorial on uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana on Docker. So I hope it is a very pretty simple and interesting tutorial. So we'll see more about it in the upcoming tutorials. So I would request you like you know to subscribe my channel to watch for more videos and you get notified when I upload new videos. So thank you for watching and I appreciate your support.